All religions are welcome. Hastings Christ Church. Contact numbers 285-6811 or 285-6115. Government and promoters to thrash out key issues early in the new year. An Anglican priest laments the savagery and fear pervading some parts of the world. And in sports, the Windies in danger of losing inside three days in the second test at Melbourne. Credible. Balanced. Committed. This is the CBC Evening News. A very good evening to you. I'm Sophie Cambridge with this Sunday, December 27th edition of the CBC Evening News. In our top story tonight, a promise to local promoters. Government will be sitting down with them in the new year to thrash out recent issues plaguing the entertainment sector, which struck a sour note with industry players. Shane Seeley has the story. Earlier in the year, promoters had raised concern about the implementation of 17.5% VAT on events and tickets a move they said would be a big blow to the entertainment industry. At the recent Christmas Mass at the St. James Parish Church, Culture Minister Stephen Lashley said his ministry and the Ministry of Finance will be meeting with promoters in 2016, trying to bring an acceptable resolution to the matter. We are hoping in the new year to meet with the promoters. There are, of course, some unfinished business and um, we have gotten uh, undertaken from the Ministry of Finance to sit with the Ministry of Culture and the promoters to look at the issues that they have raised and I look forward and anticipate that we will work very closely with our entertainment industry generally and of course with our promoters in particular to map out creative ways in which we can have a win-win situation whereby we can do what is necessary to transform the Barbados economy. The news comes as local promoter Limer's Cruise Events holds a seventh heaven an annual show which started at 5 this afternoon and runs until midnight at Buckley's Sugar Factory in St. George. CEO of Limer's Chris John says government's move could see them paying up to 40% in taxes on tickets. He says it's a huge dent into their profits as they try to keep ticket prices reasonable. But he says the news about the proposed meeting is encouraging. I am happy that they're doing that because really you can't hurt this industry. This industry, I mean, we operate all year round. I have four or five events a year. My Kropovi event is something that is all over the world. We bring in so many people. We do so many videos that, that my videos have million views. That means it's all over the world. And that promotes business in Barbados. It promotes Barbados on a whole. So we need to be recognized from the government and understood that you can't pressure us like that because it's a different type of industry to any ordinary retail industry. So there needs to be some sort of consensus, some sort of level ground that we can work on. And you can expect more reaction from other promoters as they get set to host several All Year's and New Year's events in the days ahead. Shane Seeley, CBC News. Thanks, Shane. And meanwhile, the Culture Minister has announced plans for a study in 2016 to determine the economic impact of the creative sector to Barbados. I believe that when we get the results of that study, that our economic planners in particular will be in a better position to really assess the critical importance of this sector. I think in the past we have not done the kind of, of, of study to assess how does the cultural industry sector impact the economy. I believe that right now certainly the growth in tourism uh, can be uh, traced back to what has happened in the cultural sector, in the entertainment sector and in, in particular. And Minister Lashley has revealed that the Cultural Industries Development Authority Board has been established and most of the staffing is expected to be in place early in the new year. In other news, the savagery and slaughter that occurred at the time of Jesus' birth is not unlike what's happening in the world today. That's the message from former Bishop of Barbados, Dr. Rufus Broom, during a sermon on Christmas Day at the St. James Parish Church. 
He said King Herod's decision to kill babies under two years of age resulted in the kind of fear and anguish which is again evident today but stemmed from violent clashes and terrorist acts across the globe. No one knows when or where the Paris will strike. No one knows which school or restaurant or cinema or workplace or hospital or church or synagogue or mosque will be the next target. Parents who plan for their children with the assumption that they will live to see them grow up must now deal with the calculated wickedness of modern day heroes. And they wonder how to protect their little ones. Coming up after the break, the Barbados Light and Power Company is investigating last night's blackout in the north of the island. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Megville is offering good shoes at good prices. Shoes for dress, work, hotel, and restaurant workers. School shoes and casual wear shoes. Go to Megville, where you'll always get good shoes at good prices. Located in Tudor Street, High Street, and Palmetto Street in Bridgetown. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Thanks, Mr. Banks, man. Thanks, man. Cheers, mate. One more. Right. Each and every day, we're thankful for something. And we're thankful for you. We couldn't do it without you. May the spirit of hope this Christmas season Fill your hearts with happiness. May love fill your homes. And may you be truly blessed. Best wishes of the season to you, our treasured viewers, listeners, customers, clients, and friends. From the board, management, and staff of the Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation. Live up. For more information, contact your local council for the disabled or association. Well, several residents in the north of the island were without power supply for about three hours last night. This after reports of a fire at the Barbados Light and Power Company's substation in St. Thomas. BLMP Communications Public Relations Administrator Jackie Marshall-Clark says the company responded to a report of smoke coming from a substation building at around 7.35 last night. She says fire service officials were called in and the situation was quickly brought under control. According to her, the electricity supply was restored to all customers by about 10.30 last night. Mrs. Marshall-Clark says the substation has been electronically isolated and an investigation is being conducted into the cause of the fire. The Health Ministry is still looking for a new model for financing health care in Barbados. In fact, Minister John Boyce says consultations with stakeholders are still ongoing on the best ways of managing health care costs in the future. He was speaking to CBC News after a tour of wards at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. 
that private sector, public sector consultation will continue in the new year with a view for of presenting to the Ministry of Finance uh, before the start of the next financial year, which is March 31st, of course, as you know. So that exercise should be wrapped up by the end of February, uh, ready to compile a report on health care costs. Well, Minister Boy says despite the challenges, officials have still been able to manage the resources of the sector relatively well. To the region now, and Martinique is the latest country in the region to confirm reports of the local transmission of the mosquito-borne Zika virus. The Pan American Health Organization, or PAHO, says the French-speaking Caribbean nation is the 11th place in the Americas to report the virus this year. According to Dr. Joy St. John, the Director of Surveillance, Disease Prevention and Control at the Caribbean Public Health Agency, in the last decade, the Caribbean has been wrestling with wave after wave of vector-borne diseases. In addition to Martinique, other countries confirming the presence of the virus are Brazil, Chile, Colombia, El Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico, Paraguay, Suriname and Venezuela. Well, 11 people have been killed in Texas by overnight storms that were so strong, they sparked tornadoes. Wow! Oh, my gosh, it's oh. big! It's hitting stuff! Oh, it's a big tornado, big, big, strong tornado. Residents in Texas are picking up the pieces today after a terrifying night of deadly storms. I actually looked at the twister. I was looking at it. You were, okay, describe yeah. it for me. Well, it's just a dark, it's a dark funnel, and it was just a big roar. It was really scary. It scared me. I mean, I don't scare that easy, but I was scared. We have our lives, and I thank God for that. Sirens warn residents to take cover, as an estimated half a dozen twisters ravaged the Dallas area, killing at least 11 and leaving hundreds more homeless. My daughter's car is in wow. the kitchen. Your daughter's Her car is in the garage. It's in the kitchen it's in here. The kitchen right in the back of your house. Yes, yes it is. right now. And my, my husband's heart. car was in the driveway. It's out spinning around into the in alley. alley. Mm. But her car is in the kitchen there, and it was in the garage. The towns of Garland and Roulette took the brunt of the storms. Uh -huh. Oh, I see it. It's crossing the highway right there. I can see it. Yep, there it is. Lafayette Griffin huddled with his family under a mattress and prayed as the tornado hit. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. They were terrified. You know, they didn't know if they were going to make it. Eight people died when a tornado hit the area around Interstate 30. And in some neighborhoods, storms ripped facades off houses, leaving gaping holes. And in other cases, houses were just gone. And coming up in sports, a continuing poor performance by the West Indies at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Damien Bess will have those details and more in just a moment. The Niki Music Festival presents five amazing shows from January 13th to 17th, 2016. On January 13th, at Holders, we salute Urban Virgie with Island in the Sun by Stefan Rothrock's 1688 Big Band. On the 14th, our free sunset concert at Frank Color Mahal with the Rudy Smith Quartet. Reggae legend band Aswat takes over Holders on January 15th. On January 16th, the Nicholas Branker Orchestra and Grammy Award winner Roberta Black return to Holders. Finally, at Niki on Sunday, January 17th. Caribbean Fusion in the Hills with Edwin Yearwood, Leston Paul, Ross Eilie, and Serenader. Others include Nikita, Mylon Clark, Rhea Drake, Vanessa Lee, and many more. General admission tickets from $70 and $250 for VIP. Countdown to 50. Hello, my name is Thelma Clark, and I'm from the Telecommunications Unit. Telecommunications has contributed significantly to the development of Barbados over the years. And I'm here to remind you that there are only 339 days left before our 50th anniversary of independence. Get free Facebook and Instagram with any new Digicel 4G data plan with Barbados' fastest 4G network. Digicel data. Digicel data for life. Data for life. Data for life. Get free Facebook and Instagram with any new Digicel 4G data plan. Snap, record, post, and share instantly on Facebook and Instagram anywhere across the island with Barbados's fastest 4G network. Digicel 4G. Dial star 153 pound to sign up and start using Facebook and Instagram for free today. Data for life. 
Very good evening to you with the CBC Sports News. I'm Damien Best. Unbeaten centuries from Captain Steve Smith and Adam Voges, and then a dismal batting performance by the West Indies, put Australia in a good position to win the second test in quick time and wrap up the three-match series. Resuming on their overnight 345 for three, Smith made 134 not out and Voges 106 not out as the host declared on 551 for three shortly after lunch on day two at the MCG. James Pattinson, Peter Siddle and Nathan Lyon all have two wickets as the Windies are tottering on 91 for six, still trailing by a massive 460 runs. For the topping guys, too short and too wide. The first boundary of the morning. Wait, yes. And away it goes. More conventional cut shot this time. Backward a point. Such a strong area for Adam Voges. Four more. Full toss. Bashed back down the ground. And that's going to get there. And there's the 100 partnership. In fact, that's pounded back down the ground. Beautiful shot. And I don't think this West Indian side make it happen. Then you get a bad ball because you've rotated the strike. And that probably be four more. It will be. This might be it. He's got one. They're going to come back. Don't worry about that. Steve Smith's got 100. What a time of it this man's having. Beats mid on, yes he does. Test match 100 number four for Adam Voges. What a 2015 he is having. And Australia declare at three for 551. Oh, yeah. right in the end, it's out. First ball for Lyon after tea. Beauty, they say. Well, whipped over the man at mid-wicket. And powerfully enough to find the ropes. Oh, I've got to get him. He's got her. Yes, he has. You can't do that. You've got to play. Patterson breaks through. Plays of the day. Oh, that could be out too. Yes, it is. Clearly, back. He's got him come. And that's a good stroke. Good firm hit down the ground. Uncomplicated from Jermaine Blackwood. And another lovely swing of the bat that rockets the ball through that mid-off and cover area. Wow, he's gone down town and he's gone long, very long. Dip. Yeah, yes, he has. He went down the pitch line and takes a cotton ball. That's a third ball. Siddle. What about this time? How about Exactly the same position. Okay. In comes Siddle. Oh, he's on the hatchway. 